What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got here. And, uh, well, here. Let's go ahead and, say, and see what uh, here is, because, uh, you, you know, good old Draven is coming up in age. Well, 32, to be quite honest. And yes, we are in Castelia City, because, you know, it is the biggest city in the whole wide world, well, in Unova. And we're trying to get some uh, Pokemon healed uh, right here. And well, as you can see, want to recover Pokemon? Oh, sorry. Hmm. Do you know Jeanette? Yes, I do. Oh, you know Jeanette. Great, great. This is even greater. Let me tell you. If you try Jeanette, you can register a place where you can live. That is cool. That is great. That is fantastic. Too bad that, you know, we can't use that anymore in the modern days. So, yeah. We're going to have to... You know, heal up our Pokemon, do some stuff, and then from there, you know, just take care of business right here in Castelia City because, well, it's Castelia City. It's big. It is big, and, uh, yeah, there's quite a few things that we actually need to see. Now, I think in the last episode, yeah, we just got here, and then, bam, we got ourselves a bike, which is pretty fantastic. So now, let's go ahead and just use it. Um, let's see, hold on. Hold on, let me see, uh, pressing the buttons. There it is, okay, so look at that, we're going a lot faster in Castelia City. You know, it's, it's progressed within the last two years and all that crud, and well, unfortunately, you can't get past right here, because look at this. Please wait to cross. We're inspecting the Sky Arrow Bridge to make sure it's strong enough. This is the first inspection in a few years, so it may take a while. Thank you for your patience. Hmm, uh, I wonder why. Hello! If you cross the Sky Arrow Bridge from this side, you will reach Pinwheel Forest and Nacreen City. Now, these are these are a few cities that you can't actually visit right now. You actually have to wait until the after you complete the Pokemon League. Now, if you go right here, I believe there is something cool right here. Talk to this lady. This is the Royal Unova. It only uh well yeah, it only works on the in the evening time. Wait, wait, hold on. Operates on the evening. It is the evening. The heck? Okay, so it only operates in the evening. I was actually planning on go there. It's probably going to be in another episode. So, let's go right ahead and move along right here. Let's go straight ahead and get a sweet tour of uh, Castelia City. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of things to do right here. Maybe I'm going to be here to, to talk about a few things. First is first, let's go to Game Freak. Now, Pokemon always... Or, yeah, basically Pokemon always likes to put their, 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 their stuff right here. Their headquarters in the biggest city. This happens to be Castelia, and well, here we have this guy. He's like, "Hi there! You're participating in the in the medal rally." Wow, I burped up right there, aren't you? Let me take a look here. The number of medals you have is one. I have ten. I'm ahead of you. Well, I'm saving that until later on. I'm pretty sure I would have like maybe a hundred medals by now. Rock and Roll's ability is sturdy. If a Pokemon uh, would uh, attack it with a with the move that would knock it out in its first try, is HP full, it will stay instead, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, whatever, I'm not even reading these things right here. The Maniacs for items are sure odd, they'll buy ordinary items for more than just the normal. If you hold on to items, even ones that you have no use for, you might be able to get, sell them for, uh, to a Maniac, which we kind of did. I think one of those Maniacs was like, you know, I'll sell you a Great Ball for a Pokeball, which is great. Alright, so, here we are in the 22nd floor of Game Freak. And, yes, you're going to be meeting some people that created you. Hello, this is Game Freak. And that's it. Okay. This place is cool because we have to keep our server cool. That is cool. And if you talk to this guy... No, uh, I'm, uh, I'm thinking uh, a new planner of, of a game. All right, what is this? Found ourselves a revive. Nice. A good addition to the items right here. And... A tip for getting strong in Pokemon battles. Let me see. I guess the most important thing is having a lot of battles. Do you want a battle? Sure. Well, let's begin. Okay, so here we are, guys. Battling up against Game Freak Marimoto. Now, many of these Pokemon trainers are named after the creators of the game, so this is great. Uh, another cool thing is that I do believe you can actually battle these guys every single time uh, you progress throughout the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I mean, I've only played this game only, like, twice. And why am I using a water-type Pokemon against a grass? I do not know. But I'm still going to beat it with this move. Look at this. Nearly defeat it. And Pansage has recovered using an Oran Berry, but here comes a Vine Whip attack. And so far, Pansage is having... 
Well, it's staying put right there, so there it is. A good uh, razor shell that actually cut it down to size right there. And, well, here comes a Pansier, and I think Pansier is, yes, the fire-type Pokemon. Okay, so what is it with these elemental monkeys? I do not know. Maybe it's Nintendo for, you know, just adding so many... Well, not so many uh, uh, Unovan Pokemon right here. And, well, Psy of the Torrent is finally learning a move that we can actually use... And that is a Fury Cutter. Now, that could have <laughs> that could have came in handy against uh, Pansage right there, but, eh, well, it is what it is. Okay, so the next Pokemon is Pampoor. So, let's go right ahead and switch it out to good old Magneto. I haven't seen you in about a week. Let's go, Magneto. Alrighty. Alright, Mighty Moto, let's see what you got. Coming out with a Pampoor, let's go with a Thundershock right here. And this Thundershock does some pretty good damage, but yeah, Padpour is still living it up right here, using some of its Orin Berry. Coming out with a good water gun, but now does not defeat us. So here we go, Thundershock for the win. There we go, okay. Look at that. And well, we defeated Manimoto, and yes, we are the strongest that we ever were. And well, you think, you think about battles very thoroughly. I lost, but I learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. Come back again tomorrow. And, well, I'm Snorlax. No, no, I'm the planner. I don't mean to butt in, but he... But the item leftovers is important, isn't it? It's pretty useful in battle. Do you want to battle and test it? Yes, I do. I like to win and use my favorite Pokemon. Okay. So, he might have a... He might have a what you would call it, a leftover. So we're just gonna have to work awake. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see right here. Here he comes out with a Clefairy, still a normal type at the moment. And well, let's go right ahead and go with a Razor Shell. I'm gonna straight up just beat this Pokemon, and that right there takes care of Clefairy. So uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. This is quite th <laughs> thought out. Yes, it was. And well, he's gonna be like, oh, what a great Pokemon. The great number of steps seems to have increased uh, their trust in you. I hope you can battle again tomorrow, which is great, and well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Budkiss right here, and well, let's see what this person has to say. I'm the sound designer. I just woke up. I wonder what kind of music people like. Oh, I thought he was going to battle us. Uh, how about this person? I'm the graphic designer. To draw something I've never seen, I need to observe a lot of objects. Not only do I have to look at them, but, I, but also I need to analyze them and truly absorb them. Okay, and a game is something to think about. Program, and at the end, hope for work, 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 please work. Okay, and if you talk to this guy, this is the game director. And he's like, ah, you're working on your Pokedex. If you fill it up, please see me. As always, we never really fill up our Pokedex. Uh, you know, we get lazy. We kind of do. So we're going to get the heck out of here. And uh, let's move on right here. Again, it, Castilla City is full of uh, it's full of stuff, lots of stuff right here, guys. So it's gonna be a visit by visit and all that crud. And as you can see, there's a lot of people, just like in New York City. And well, let's see. Once I try to catch a Pokemon, the Pokeball shook once. Oh, that happens sometimes. It's called a critical capture. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely the phenomenon is. Apparently, when a Pokeball only rocks once, it's easier to catch a Pokemon. This is true. And, okay, so they're just talking about it again, so I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna acknowledge that. Now, let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, my Pokemon, I like to laugh. When it, either of us start laughing, we both laugh. Wah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be reading everybody's dialogue right here, but it's nice to see. So, here we go, going up to uh, the 11th floor. I'm kind of hoping we get a, a battle here or there. I don't know. Talk to this lady. Are you getting enough sleep? If you don't rest, you won't feel better. Rest is important, so I'll give you this. And we get ourselves the TM44, which is rest. A very nice, uh, a very nice uh, item. A very nice TM. And yes, yeah, she did give us a little, a little strategy. Use a Chesto Berry to wake up your Pokemon after rest. And well, let's see. So I'm a Curiosity. Do you know what a Curiosity is? It's a person who is curious about everything, who checks places with nothing there, and who talks to all sorts of people. Okay, well, there's nothing else to do right here. Actually, check the trash cans. Yeah, there's nothing right there. Huh. Okay, well, let's go straight to the first floor right here. Now, let's see. 
let's, uh, let's see, what else do we have to do right here? Uh, yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of battles, um, well, quite a few battles. I might just, uh, rush through them, guys, because, well, yeah, I got the speed button right here on my, on my computer. Um, one thing is for sure, if you guys try to go up north right here of Castelia City and try and go into the desert, it's not going to work just yet, because there's, uh, there's gonna be a part, uh, being blocked over there, so... We're gonna save that for later on, as you can see right here. Do you wanna go up? Yes. And this guy's frisking me, and well... You don't seem to have anything suspicious. Okay, you can go. Alright, so we're gonna go up. I don't know why he's there, but this seems a little bit conspicuous, so let's go straight to the, uh, to, uh, the 47th floor, and I think this is the place where there's a whole bunch of people that speak different languages, I think. Uh, welcome to my party. Please enjoy the conversations. And es la primera vez que vengo aquí. Pero este precioso pasaje hace que me siente como en casa. La próxima vez traeré mis amigos. Oh, excuse me. Did you understand me now? This is the first time I've come here, and the scenery and, his, and homey environment are wonderful. Next time, I'll bring my friends. Huh. Let's see. Oh, your Pokemon are so charming. I want a cute Pokemon too, so I can use this. We get ourselves the TM45 Attract, which, you know, will actually help out, uh, you know, the opposite sex Pokemon right here. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Ich hab mir nun ein Auto zugelegt. I think that's how you say it. Damit ist a Daim nicht das Stadt aus ganz aus Orden zum Greifen nach. Is a is a echt or I shall wrestle door nine fruit fruit a furiously fury shite fruit. I can't even pronounce that. Yeah, I just bought a car now without a gym badge. It's a quick to trip. To, yeah, wow, <laughs> that is a long, long word. And well, my boyfriend isn't good getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's just slow getting out in bed. And I asked his Pokemon to use wake up slap him. Oh, that's a Kind of a dick move right there. And well, hey trainer, check out my moves. Have you gone to the next city yet? I learned this move at the musical theater over there. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's cool, that is cool. Hello, have you tried the Castelia cone yet? And I believe that's a big commodity around here. Ciao. Chai stai divertando? Non sentirete in imbarazzo parla pure con chi voi. It's Italian, I can't even say anything like there. And well, let's see, the supermodel Lisa. Yes, this is the gym leader. And well, let's see, seeing instead. Okay, they're talking about a lot of sleep, so yes. There's nothing right here except for, you know, a party full of internationals and all that crud. So I'm going to take a sip for that. Anywho, let's see. Now, if you guys are wondering what am I sipping on, it's just, well, Powerade. Yeah. Good old Draven does not drink anymore my friends or my friend worries about any uh, everyone's health when they set off in journeys so he always nicknames a pokemon he trades a jizut huh i wonder what he's doing gazuntite huh uh let's see uh yes he's this guy's gonna give us the amulet coin which of course if you well like he's gonna say it right here what a pokemon holding that item participates in battle you get more prize money which is a very good idea because you know we all love monies. Lots and lots of money, so let's go ahead and give this to one of our special Pokemon right here. Now I'm gonna give this poke I'm gonna give this item to Budkiss because well it's my first Pokemon right here. Eventually I'm just gonna give it some uh, other item, power up item or something like that. So let's go straight to the eleventh floor and read everybody else's dialogue because that's what Draven does. And well, let's see. Talk to him, missing Pokemon, even if Team Plasma is responsible. We don't know where they are. Apparently, there was a lot of missing Pokemon in the very first iteration of Pokemon Black and all that stuff. My Pokemon, where did it go? Hmm, I wonder where the Pokemon went. And I want Pokemon to be to be in the new office, but I can't say such a thing in front of my girlfriend. Okay, that's that, that that's you guys' problem right there. So let's get the heck let's get the heck out of here. And well, going back down. Yes, we are touring every single place here. It might take a while, guys. I am sorry. But I'm trying to knock it out since some of you guys like to comment on my stuff saying, Hey, enough with the short videos and all that crud. Which, you know, I, I understand, guys. I, no beef, no nothing, uh, all that stuff. So let's see. My Pat Rat's ability is run away. It can run away from wild Pokemon. So does a legendary Pokemon. 
And let's see, people to do that. And okay, new business is quite a chore. And let's see, guess they, oh, you have the Pokedex. Uh, how many Pokemon do you have so far? 29 Pokemon. If you have 40 or more Pokemon, I will give you something good, which I, I probably should get on it because, well, you know, catching more Pokemon is always awesome right there. And there is another earlier right here. Holy crud. Let's see. Me oh my! The badges you can get in the new Nova region. Want to hear about them? And no, because I already know what they are. Get this, and we found ourselves a charcoal. So now I'm in a dilemma right here because how did I know that we were going to get charcoal right there? I don't know. And uh, when I gaze down from the city, a tall building, I tremble because uh, I, I, I'm scared of heights, which he is. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And well, let's go straight back down to floor number one. And I believe this is the end of the northern areas. Now, I think there's like maybe two or three actual locations right here. So, that's that's always nice to go about. And, uh, well, let's see. Actually, let's go straight to the bike because, well, going on the bike is a lot faster. Should take advantage of that. And, let's see. Already been there. So, let's go right here. Hopefully, there's not a lot more buildings open. And, well, look at that. All the people are crazy. And the Castellia Cones, you can actually get right here. And a while ago, our store was really popular. Recently, however, we don't get as many customers as we used to. But whining won't accomplish anything. I just have to work hard to sell them. Well, then, how about a Castellia Cone? And, yes, I will get a dozen because, well, that is awesome. Castellia Cones are usually pretty good. So you heal up your Pokemon, right? I think so, yes. And, ha! <laughs> somebody's looking. He's like, hmm. There's a shop that sells ice cream here. Is it good? I mean, you should already know. I cannot move. What the heck's going on? <laughs> okay, so Lexi, what is this place? Uh, get off my bike. Lexi. The Studio Castelia. Okay. I think this is the place where that person learned how to dance. And Lexi, Castelia. Oh, this is the artwork. This is the art museum and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. They're talking about Berg. And, okay. Let's see. I'm not so, I'm not as uh, I'm not as good an artist as Berg, but I have liking for paintings. Let me see. Today I would like to paint a ghost type Pokemon. Will you show me the, uh, what kinds of Pokemon you have? Sure. Let's see. Oh, he's talking about right now. Okay, so I can't capture a ghost type right Pokemon right now. It's gonna have to be later on. So yeah, let's uh, let's get the heck out of here and move on and. Well, it looks like that's it for that location. And there's the clown that actually gave us the, the bike. This is actually the location where we got off. And again, what kind of a, a ship is that? You guys will find out soon. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here. And this is the other pier. And let's see, if you talk to this individual. Hello, this ship is to the Unity Tower. I believe the Unity Tower goes to a legendary Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I haven't played that in quite some time. And let's go through this alleyway right here. And there is a guy that just scares the crud out of me. Where did I put those glasses? Ah, I found them. And you've really got some more light to see your way. Take this. It'll help you see in dark places. We got ourselves the TM70, which is a flash technique, which is good to blind some Pokemon and all that crud. And it's not a TN or an HM anymore. Now, if you go right here, this is a, well, this is a, a club of some sort. Let's see. I've been literally letting tired of my, my or I've been letting my, ti my tired mind relax in the cafe this whole time. Hmm. Let's see. You can't change your family, but you can change how you interact with one another. Still, that said, hmm. And listen to him play the guitar. I went back to home and left behind. And my mother cried years of tears of joy. That's mother's for you. And this is your first visit to the cafe, am I right? Please. And we get ourselves some Moo Moo Milk, which is going to be useful. Give this to your dear Pokemon. And talk to this guy. A beautiful melody makes people happy. A sad melody makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies. Good. Now, I do believe that in this area right here... I. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. In Pokemon Black and White, and I believe here, this is where you can actually find the legendary Pokemon Meliota, I think. There's a there's an event that goes with it right here. So we're going to have to figure that out later on. As many of you guys know, I didn't really complete the whole thing in Pokemon Black. And yeah, these guys are, yeah, 
Okay, so I don't know what's going on here. They're just being, uh, weird. So, uh, I'm gonna walk away right here. Yes. Let's go right ahead and go to the last portion of uh, Castelia City, and well, I've got some advice for you. If you want to become strong, battle lots of trainers and know your Pokemon well. The Fun Fest mission, Train with Martial Artists, has been added to the interleague. What the heck? If you keep on battling, you'll get stronger someday. So I don't know what just happened. I'm probably not gonna do it. So let's go right here. And this area is way, well, this, this area is important because the gym is right here. You won't be able to do anything right now because, uh, well, an event's about to happen. But before we go in there, let's go right here and talk to this guy. And he is the name raider, which, uh, of course, will help change the nicknames of your Pokemon. And right here, if you like to massage your Pokemon, yes. Uh, what Pokemon do I have? Actually, I don't have any Pokemon that actually grow up or evolve through, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, through happiness. So I'm just gonna give, uh, good old Ace a massage because, you know, he needs some loving. And, well, let's see. Talk to this person, the feeling reader. I've, uh, heard a lot of people take feeling checks using the sea gear. It's pretty cool. Pretty great. Do not care. So let's go right here and let's go to the second floor. Check out what's going on. And this looks important. There's a clown right there. And let's see what this clown has to say. I'm from the Castilia Harlequin Hunt. You found the metal office, all right. Okay, so I think we have to do a hunt with the Harlequins and all that crud. Will you show me your metal box? And the number of medals you've received is one. The medalist rank is trainee rank. Okay, so we just started, so I guess we have to get the medals. Uh, yeah, not going to ask you. And actually, I've been recently secretly, secretly cheering for you, of course. As a staff member at the metal office, I will judge fairly, though. Hmm. <coughs> Thank you. Anywho, that... Okay, so that's odd. That is pretty odd right there. So... I'm gonna go to the third floor, and then... You know what? We might just have to get the medals. It's gonna take a while just to get all the medals, but... We'll figure it out right here. And, well, are you a trainer? Do you use the PC at the PC at Pokemon Center? I'm a man... Manita. They maintain the box system. Oh, you have a pal pad. I see. You can register your friends in your pal pad. After you register, you can link with the with those friends over the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to do all fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to a battle, and so on. Let me give you a quick co- Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't... I really don't need the... The advice right here, so let's just do that. And I'm working on Finel's assistant. Is there something? Nope. And hi there. My name is Finel. I'm researching Pokemon trainers. The game sync is vital to part of research. Let me explain the system for collecting save files. Good gravy. So, yeah. This is actually the place where you can go to get save files and all that crud, guys. We don't necessarily need to do that because, well, you guys already know. Uh, we haven't played this game in. Yeah, in quite some in, in quite some time. So, yeah, let's move on right here. Uh, let's see. All right, here we are, and well, there's the Pokemon Gym, and I think we're still looking for some Harlequins. Okay, so let's go right over here. This is probably the last location right here. I think what is this? Uh, small opportunity, uh, small luxury dining liner. But the size of the ship doesn't change the feeling of adventure you're going out on the open sea. Would you like to go to the, on the library garden? Not right now, because there's not a lot of stuff that we can do. And library garden, a long, long, long time ago, an extremely rich person hit a very amazing Pokemon called Victini there. Hmm. And, ho oh, ho, trying to become strong by missing, mis misusing Victini's powers. Jeez, man, Team Plasma fell apart exactly because they plan to do things like that. Hmm. Is there an event for Victini? I don't know. We will find out soon. And I think if you go right here, there is a Harlequin right there. And you found uh, you found the Passerby Analytics HQ Harlequin. All right. And I'm not going to do anything right here because there's a lot of stuff that you got to do. But how many Harlequins do you have to actually get? Completely forgot, guys. So what's going to happen is we're going to go right here and talk to this guy. Free for all, it's Castelia Harlequin Hunt. You haven't visited the Battle Company. You still need one more. Okay, so I believe this is the Battle Company. Yes, okay. 
So let's finish it off by talking to the Harlequin. And what is this guy doing? He's like, people who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles. You appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, please, ex please, please be extra careful. Oh yes, if you like, you should have your Pokemon hold this. We get ourselves the experience share, a much needed item to actually grow our Pokemon. And, well, I think that's pretty much it right there. And yes, he is unlocking that, uh, that, yeah. Or no, he's not unlocking anything, he's just, you know, whatever. And there's our guy, the Harlequin he has been found. So before we go into the Pokemon Battle Company, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here. And we found them all. And, well, after that, we get ourselves a rare candy, which is good. It's great. It's fantastic. And, well, let's go to the battle company. Let's finish off this episode right here. Of course, I'm going to be speeding up the whole thing because, well, why not? So, let's go to the 47th floor and see what we got right here. Now, let's see. First is first. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we got a charcoal. We should give this to good old Budkiss just now because it, it has, you know, power up move. And let's give the experience share to, let's see. We haven't been using Ace as often, so let's go give that to him. And the Pokemon we've been using the most, let's give it to Sigh of the Torrent. So. Yes, there we are. We're all set. Let's go ahead and talk to these people. A, a tour, let's battle. Yes, we are. Okay, so, like I said, we're going to be speeding up this whole thing right here. We're going to be taking on at Clerk Kemen. So, there he goes, coming out with a Growlithe. Unfortunately for me, we don't have the move, or we don't have the special ability to actually, you know, lower its attack. So, let's go ahead and switch out to Psy. Get a Leer attack. And here comes a Razor Shell. But an, an evasion of that move. Yeah, it doesn't work. And, well, there it is. We have defeated a Clerk. And, well, that's a present. We get ourselves some Quick Balls, which, you know, it's going to be useful for catching some pretty fast Pokemon. And, let's see. Wow, we got a lot of people right here. I've got to reach my quota. That's why I'm challenging you. All right, we're battling. And yes, we're taking on a P-Dove, a useful Pokemon right here. So here we go, Flame Wheel. And well, another Flame Wheel for the win. Come on. And there we go. We have defeated another trainer. So that's another big battle right there. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Magneto. And talk to this guy. Did you come for the Pokemon practice? I'll be happy to help you out. All right. Yes, we're taking on another clerk. And I chose correctly. Let's go, Thundershock. And it nearly defeats a Meryl, so let's go again. And yes, that's how you do it. Ace grows to level 17. That is fantastic. And here we get ourselves some timer balls, which are useful to actually capture Pokemon. And that lady is looking at me all funny. So... Let's go ahead and use Sigh of the Torrent right here. Alright, she's looking at us all funny and all that crud. And I may look like a regular clerk, but in fact I'm Glamorous Female Spy. Can you feel it? How strong I am. Okay. So, yeah, she's not... Okay, so we got ourselves a nice battle right there. And that is a poison point, which is going to hurt us quite a little. And... Holy crud. Okay, so yes, we are... Yeah, we are at a critical point right there, and well, we gotta we gotta heal up our Pokemon right now. Okay, so poison. This is like the first time we've gotten poison right here. So let's see. First is first antidote. There we go. And a super potion for that. And there we go. Okay, so our Pokemon are healed. Let's go right ahead and get this item, and we found ourselves a guard spec, which can actually prevent any kind of status effects. And talk to this guy, Church of Development, but I'll give you this. Okay, so he will give us a scope lens, which this item actually uh, have, helps us with critical hits. So I think I should give that to Magneto. Hmm. Probably should, but those are useful items right there. Let's go straight to the 55th floor. And we are close to the end right here. Okay, so trash is empty. Let's go right here. Found ourselves an ether. Which is a nice item to include in, a, in your, well, your bag. And, well, we got one trainer left. And it's this guy, the janitor. And, well, <laughs> oh, you're the Pokemon uh, trainer I met in the entrance. 
You've come this far. This means you might be uh, you might be quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? Then the time has come to challenge my grandson, the company president. Oh, hmm. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. So the company president. What is his name? What is he all about? And he looks. Yeah, he's a school kid. Okay. Well, he's got an Eevee. Look at that. Let's destroy him. There we go. Shell. Yeah, we're gonna destroy this guy. Shell him. Shell him! Damn it. Okay, there we go. And he's gonna come out with a herdier. So let's go. Let's go with the blood kiss right here. Because yes, I already have a herdier, but you know, blood kiss looks like it's about to kick his butt right here. Get it? Blood kiss butt. And well. Flame wheel for the win. And ace grows to level 18. Yes, we have defeated this guy. I lost. Because you were strong and I was weak. We must do more research on Pokemon and trainers. Thinking that when you win, it's because of your Pokemon, and when you lose, it's because of yourself. It might make you stronger, but enjoying yourself is much, much more important. Hmm. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, huh? Probably should have started off with this one right here. I don't know. I don't know, guys, but we did a full tour of good old Castelia City. Yes, in the next episode, there might be trouble afoot. There might be some kind of foot. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. And if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we do some more important stuff because we are the hero of this episode. See you guys.